Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And right now we're talking with uh, two guys who have really proven themselves long term in our videos. Stephen O from EventDataServices.com and Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. And if you're a regular viewer of our videos, you know how good these guys really are. All right, now we're going to cover the uh, New Orleans Seattle game. And, uh, you know, Stephen, both you and Joe Duffy have very different uh, handicapping approaches. You're mostly primarily a, a statistical modeler. And I'm wondering, you change your approach at all uh, for the playoff games because, you know, in the playoffs, it seems like things just, it's, you know, you want to just expect the unexpected. A team that's been bad on the road suddenly comes and starts winning on the road. A team that's been dominant at home suddenly, uh, you know, loses at home as we saw with Cincinnati. So how do you, you know, approach the playoffs from a modeling standpoint? See it as just another regular season game statistically? Well, uh, yes and no. Um, I, I use the same kind of things where I, I weight similar situations and recent performances more heavily. So uh, in this case, you know, the, the, the games in the playoffs in week two, the previous week is weighted more heavily, much more heavily than, say, a regular season game from the same season. Or, you know, how players have done in past playoff games, uh, that is weighted more heavily than what they've done in past um, uh, uh, regular season games. So I do change it for the playoffs, but not, you know, in the way you might think. The common wisdom last week was that the Saints had problems on the road and that the Bengals were dominant at home. And obviously, both of those trends are starkly reversed. And here we go again this week. Again, the Saints on the road uh, at Seattle. And, you know, if, if this were a regular season game, you would say, wow, Seattle, you know, probably uh, even as a big favorite has some value because they're so dominant at home. The Saints have problems on the road. But because it's the playoffs, maybe that's not the case. Obviously, though, the uh, you know, Seattle should have an edge here, but they're an eight-point favorite. Total's 46 and a half. Should they be an eight-point favorite or not? I'm not exactly Exactly sure. What's your take, Stephen? O? Yeah, I mean, I, I like Seattle. Okay. Um, despite all the reasons, you know, qualitatively, you might, you know, go to the Saints, and certainly I can understand that. I had the Saints as a favorite against Philly last week. No, you did. Um, but I think Seattle's offense is actually something that people haven't focused enough on in this situation. Um, based on the betting line and our model, we have the Saints scoring around 19 and a half to 20 points, 19 to 20 points. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that Seattle's poised to score uh, 30 or more. Um, not only the average over 29 at home for the year, but obviously in the first half against the Saints a few weeks ago, they, they racked up 27. Percy Harvin is probably going to be back, and even if he's limited, you know, he makes a big impact even in just a handful of plays. Uh, last week, as good as the Saints were on defense, they showed that, you know, the injuries in the secondary that happened in December have really made them thin. And when Keenan Lewis went out with that possible concussion, even though he might be back, they showed just how weak they are or they're hanging by a thread. So I really like the Seattle Seahawks to be able to score uh, around 30 and hold uh, the Saints to 20 and win by 10. All right, so you're leaving Seattle minus eight. That makes me very nervous because I didn't tell you beforehand, but uh, my big bet for this week was on the under at 48. Now it's 46 and a half. So at least as of right now, the market agrees with that play, but uh, you would strongly disagree with it. Uh, not strongly. I know the wind and rain are factors. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, you know, so I, I, even though I do have the uh, over, mm -hmm. it's not a strong over. And now let's go to Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. You all know who this guy is, Joe Duffy. What's your take on this on this game? I and mean, a lot of factors that we have to weigh here, right? Are the Saints going to, you know, fold after getting a road win in a, in 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 the wild card round, and Seattle is going to blow them out rested at home? Yeah, no, I, I agree with what both of you gentlemen said. I wouldn't completely. This camp, the home road splits based on what happened last week. This, though, more than both of those games last week, both teams have compelling splits where simply based on the home statistics of Seattle and the road statistics of New Orleans, uh, Seattle outscores teams by 15.4 to why New Orleans gets outscored by uh, 3.9. But my official play for this video is actually going to be on the over. Seattle wow. does have a solid defense. There's no question about it. As Steven said, New Orleans' defense is pretty questionable, and both of these teams can move the ball. The Saints get .6 more yards per play than their opponents normally allow, and especially in the air, where they get 7.6 yards per play, the team's normally giving up only 6.6, .6. and Seattle, almost the same thing, where they're not quite as good overall offensively. They get .3 more yards per play than their opponents normally allow, but in the air, they get 7.7, .7, the teams that are normally allowing only 6.6. .6. So, both teams can go to their strength, and in the case of Seattle, their strength will be attacking New Orleans' weakness. I do expect a lot of yards in the air, and even though the total's 
fairly high. I expect this game to go over the total. Wow. All right. Well, 46 and 46 and a half are both uh, widely available right now. 46 is at uh, at the Chris books right now. So we can give you that over 46. So why did I like the under so much? I'll tell you, I mean, I thought I just saw this game. I thought, you know, Seattle very strong on defense. They have an efficient offense, but you know, not necessarily an explosive offense. And you know, people associate you know Drew Brees in New Orleans with a high-scoring you know uh, game plan. But you know that in the playoffs on the road, maybe it would be their defense has stepped up and their game plan would be a little bit more conservative. So I bet the under at 48. And now it's like 46 or 46 and a half. But you think that's way off? No, and, and you bring up some good points. And one thing that I also considered is, remember, Seattle set all those records for the decibel levels. It's going to be extremely difficult for Drew Brees to call mm -hmm. audibles. So you know, he's going to have to do all those hand signals and audibles. But at the end of the day, Brees is an experienced quarterback. I think he can overcome it and put enough points on the board for New Orleans. But like, like I always say, we disagree. If anything was 100% certainty, right. you know, I'd be a billionaire. Yeah. But I still think the higher percentage play is definitely the over when you evaluate each team's offense and defense and the fact that I do think that um, Seattle, as efficient as they are offensively, they're a good passing team, and it would be wise of them to attack uh, New Orleans' weakness, which is in their secondary. All right, so Stephen O, you, I, just to reiterate what you said before, you would, uh, if you had to make a play on the total, you would prefer the over to the under, especially now at 46, right? Yeah, I mean, Seattle doesn't have a reputation for being an explosive offense, but statistically and point score, they are. Mm -hmm. All right, well, awesome insights, guys. It uh, sounds like you're actually agreeing with each other, both of you leaning uh, Seattle minus eight and the over. But uh, Stephen O from eventdataservices.com is going to go with Seattle minus eight and Joe Duffy from offshoreinsiders.com with the over, and we'll give him 46. Thanks so much, guys. Great preview.